of Isra, chapter 8, verse 21 to 23. Praise God. Isra, chapter 8, verse 21 to 23. Praise God. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord says, Then I proclaim a fast day. This, these are the words of Israel. At the river of Ahava, that we might uplift ourselves before our God, to seek of Him a right way for us. Now, please uh, take note of this line. The reason why they have decreed a fast or a prayer and fasting, Israel said, to seek of Him a right way for us. Speaks of direction. And for our little ones, speaks of the children. And for all our substance. In other words, their properties and positions. And Israel said, for I was ashamed to require of the king a band of soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemy in the way. Everybody shout, the enemy in the enemy in the way. The enemy in the way. Praise God. You must expect that. Israel expect that. Because we have spoken unto the king, saying, The hand of our God is upon all them. For good that seek him. But his power and his wrath is against all them that forsake him. Last verse. So we fasted and besought our God for this. And he was entreated of us. Praise God. I will bring to you a subject this morning in his title, Risking All on God. Praise, Praise God. God. Risking All on God. Amen. Everybody say, Risking All on God. Risking All on God. Shall we bow down our heads and let us pray. Hallelujah. Holy One of Israel, thank you so much for this great opportunity. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. You save our soul. You forgive our sins. And you have given us the opportunity once again to come together. Praise God. Have this fellowship. Worshiping your name. Singing. Hallelujah. The spiritual melodies. Hallelujah. Lifting up your name to glorify. Hallelujah. For your name is worthy to be glorified. Lord Jesus, this morning I pray, O oh God, that you will... Hallelujah. Give us wisdom and understanding. And aside from that, Father, that your spirit, O oh God, will minister to every heart, to every life, even to our guests and visitors, even to our online viewers, O oh God, that your spirit will move, O oh Lord Jesus. Thank you so much. Cover this place, God, with your presence, O oh Lord Jesus, that while I speak, O oh God, hallelujah, let there be healing, O oh God. We are praying for Sister God, O oh God, we rebuke that stage for cancer. Thank you, Lord, of your favor upon your people. While I preach your word, we claim revival, hallelujah, in the Holy Ghost. Let the Holy Ghost will move God in our midst so mightily. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, if you believe it in your heart, that the Lord started to touch you right now. Lift up your hands, hallelujah, and shout unto God with a voice of triumph.
Hallelujah. I tried to find in the dictionary the most simple meaning. Praise God. From the word press, rescue is a general or a present participle. Praise God. Expose. Praise God. Someone or something value to danger, to harm or loss. It is an act in such a way as to bring about the possibility of an unpleasant and unwelcome event. Praise God. Risking means to incur the chance of unfortunate consequences by engaging in such action. When you say risking all of God, Lord, it's up to you. What will happen? I risk it all on you, Lord Jesus. You, you give it all. Whatever happens, you just trust Him. Everybody shall praise the Lord. Israel and his people were in danger. The experience anxiety at the river of Ahab. Now to give you, praise God, a background of the story. Praise God. The story was like this. The Israelites were captives. Hallelujah in the Babylonian captivity. Until the days of the Persian kings. And Jeremiah before their captivity. Prophesied that Israel, praise God, would experience his 70 years. Praise God, in the land of captivity, the desolation of Israel was determined for 70 years. According to the prophecy of Jeremiah. And now it was the time, praise God, when Cyrus the Great commanded these Jewish people to go back to Israel. To go back to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple of God. So in other words, 70 years is already done. And now you are going back to Jerusalem as commanded by Cyrus the Great to rebuild the temple of God. Hallelujah. So when they decided to go back with Israel and the people who were so excited to go back to the city of Jerusalem. They experienced great anxiety and fear at the river of Ahaba, knowing that along the way there are lots of bandits and enemies. Amen. Everybody shall be there. So they had reasons to fear for their lives because aside from that, it's not just their own lives, but their children, their positions, and the, and the treasure. That King Cyrus entrusted to them the gold, the silver, praise God, in order to rebuild the temple. All the budget was in their hands, and to travel in the land was very, praise God, dangerous. Amen. There was no airplane during their time. Amen. So they must walk along the way. And it is a huge, a multitude group of people riding their camels and their horses together with their children and the treasure that they have. So there was a great anxiety and fear when they were assembled in the river of Ahaba. Seems like they are waiting for their first dose and they're so, they have an anxiety and fear. What if? What if? My blood pressure will go up. What if? So you requested a prayer request because of anxiety, fear. That's what happened to Israel and the group of these people that they requested, okay, let's have a fasting and prayer for this. That's the Christian way. That's the way God's people, praise God, hallelujah, enter into this process. That when you encounter fear and anxiety, call it on. church, we all pass through worrisome periods of danger. All of us will pass through, praise God, the episodes of what we call the worrisome dangers. Periods of dangers. We experience anxiety over our adversaries, domestic or foreign. What do you mean, Pastor Plaza? We experience anxiety when we are going to face demons 
disease, depressions, wow. pandemic. Yes. Do you know that anxiety and fear robs us of joy, peace, and health? Yes. You cannot sleep at night just thinking the first dose. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> disease, depression, demons, economic turmoil. Praise God. Contracts that you don't know if you can finish or not. If your employer will say, Chow up up your things. Yes. Sometimes you overthink. Right. 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 And doubts and fears will come in. What if yeah. will come in? Yeah. I'm 40 years old now, Pastor. What if? <laughs> Hello. Anxiety robs us. It steals our joy, peace, and health. So the question this morning, hallelujah, in this introductory opening statement, where do we turn in times of danger? Hallelujah. Where do we turn in times of of danger. Number one, Israel leads his people in seeking God. He was a man of God. He was a man, should I say, like David, according to God's own heart, because he led the people, he encouraged the people to seek God. In verse 21, the Bible said, Then I proclaim a fast. It was the decision of Israel to proclaim a schedule for fasting at the river of Ahava that we might afflict ourselves before God to seek of Him a right way for us, for our little ones, and for all our substance. He calls for fasting and prayer. He looks for help in this time of danger. Wow. Like the psalmist David, he looks up also to God as recorded in Psalms 121. Praise God, hallelujah. I want you to read with me. When David got so many troubles left and right, when David, hallelujah, was being threatened by his own life from his own, some of them are friends of him. Praise God, like King Saul. This is what the Bible said. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Hallelujah. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Hallelujah. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth me will not slumber. Hallelujah. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall numbers, uh, shall neither slumber nor sleep. Ang Diyos ng Israel, hindi magpirat ang matapong makatulog. What I'm saying this, hallelujah, the God of Israel never slumber nor sleep. He is always watching you. Your feet will not be moved. Will you call and will you trust the God of heaven? Read it with me. The Lord is thy keeper. If you believe that, clap your hands. Your agency cannot keep you. All we want to keep is your money. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is the shade upon thy right hand. He is the shadow when he comes. He is the shade. Have you ever seen the sun? Are you sure? But you look like you are lacking of vitamin D. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon will harm you at night. That's what it means. It is a figurative speech, hallelujah, that in the daytime, if the situation is so hot, Oh, the Lord will protect you. In the night, when there are bad people, when situations get wrong, the moon in the night will not harm you. It is a figurative speech that day and night, 24 hours, you are well protected.
thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Woo. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forever. Your spirit. Yeah. 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 
Jesus. The heroes of faith like David saw God in desperate times. Isaiah said, with my soul will I seek thee. In chapter 26 verse 9, can you read it on the screen? With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yeah, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when my judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Hallelujah, praise God. The church will, reign, will learn righteousness. If all of us will just seek God early, with our soul will seek Him in the night time. Everybody say, David, seek God. Daniel, he seek God by prayer and with fasting. In Daniel chapter 9 verse 3, And I sit my face unto the Lord God to seek my prayer and supplications with fastings and sackcloth and ashes. Oh, these are the heroes of faith. Daniel is a man of God. He was, hallelujah, a Bible character for the story of the children when Daniel was in, was in the lion's den. Hallelujah. Church, aside from the Bible school, a Bible student's story, there is much hallelujah in the life of Daniel that nobody wants to follow. That in the midst of his trials and problems, in the midst of challenges and threat in his life, he seeks God with prayer, with supplications, with fasting, and with sackcloth and ashes. And we did finish 
Israel is his people in surrendering to God. Hallelujah. It's verse 22. This is what the Bible said. And I want you, praise God, to take notice on the lines on this verse. Because I will not repeat this again. Hallelujah. But I will mention some lines of this as the preaching will drag on. Hallelujah. Why Israel demanded the people for prayer and fasting and surrendering to God? Here is the reason. For I was ashamed. To require of the king a band of soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemy in the way. Because we had spoken into the king, saying, The hand of our God is upon all them for good that seek him. But his power and his wrath is against all them that forsake him. Now I will dissect that verse. Listen carefully. Why Israel did not request his basic to the king for like a military escort? Why Israel did not ask the king for protection? Because Jerusalem is still under their empire. The king has the ability to send these armies because it was the king's command to rebuild the city. It was the king's project that some of these Jews will go up to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple of God. And Israel said, I was ashamed. Now, now, I'm going to Now, we need to hurry that I will ask a king in a of soldiers. Listen to this. The king, uh, the temptation is to look to people for help instead of to God. This is always our temptation. When trials and problems come, especially money. The temptation to look to people for help instead of to God. That is always the tendency. But Israel rests all in the hands of God instead of looking to the influential people who can supply all their demands when it comes to security. That's why Israel said, let us surrender ourselves to God. Let us fast and pray. For us, for the way, See, 50 years have gone, Sister Angie. Who will lead them along the way that this is the way going to Jerusalem? From the land of Persia going to Jerusalem, it takes three months of journey. Three to five months walking because they cannot walk fast because their little children are so slow to walk. And they will come at night, praise God, from place to place, and they will they will pass through nations who are Gentiles evil. There are lots of bandits, more than worse than a Musaya. Along the way. Hello? So instead of asking help from people, Israel led the people to ask help to God. evil, not good to ask help for someone. But at this time, he rests all into the hands of God. The king could help them. Yes, the king could help them. Soldiers could be their salvation in their way. Soldiers, the band of soldiers will be their salvation on their way for their positions and children and in their own lives. But in this case, their testimony for God was at stake. In these situations, it's different. Why, Pastor Plaza? The testimony concerning the power and the majestic mercy of God is at stake because Israel have told the king about God's power. Amen. That's why he was 
ashamed to ask help because he told the king, our God is with us. So when Israel said that our God is able to protect us, he was now ashamed to ask soldiers because he was so confident to tell the king that our You're telling the whole world, my God will supply. My God, He will supply. He will supply. El Shaddai. My pakor pakor bapa. Tapos pakai tapos dan servis. That's the temptation. Hindi ko pinatalamahan yung mga nanghirap ka. Ibalik mo lang yung hirap mo. This is in different situations. Because the testimony for God was at stake. They have testified of God's faithfulness in the past. Israel was telling the, 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 the king of Persia, you know king, our, look at the records of the book of Israel. Our God was able to protect us from the land of Egypt in the Red Sea, in the wilderness. So, that's our God, O King. And the king said, go ahead. God bless Israel. And they were getting a symbol in the river banks of Ahaba. And they were starting now to think. 